Readings class of 2021. Mr. Herbert here, your principal. Uh, today, I'm going to go over our graduation rehearsal. Uh, since we're trying to keep you all COVID safe and uh, uh, quarantine free to be able to participate in commencement on June 6th, 2 p.m. at Wolfpack Stadium, uh, we are going to do our traditional hour long rehearsal, hopefully in just about five to seven minutes. So I have a script here to go through with you that will cover a lot of the key topics associated with graduation. We will post this uh, to your school apps account. We'll send out Blackboard Connect and we'll post it to our school website under the hot link of graduation. First of all, I just wanna uh, start with a couple of opening remarks. Graduation commencement is our most, most formal event that we do in public schools. It is an opportunity for us, the school staff, you, your family, the community to come together to celebrate your accomplishment of earning that first milestone, one of your first milestones in your life, that high school diploma. And so we're eager to uh, have this uh, ceremony for you uh, at Wolfpack Stadium, 2 p.m. on June 6th. So just a few expectations that we need uh, support with. Uh, student and audience members are expected to be sober while at commencement. If you're not, you'll be uh, directed to leave. We wanna refrain from loud noise making so that uh, everyone can hear everyone's name as well as hear our speeches. Students, you are required to wear clothing underneath your gown. Uh, students who arrive with only a gown on and not appropriate attire underneath will not be able to participate. Uh, I have had that happen before and it is uh, very uncomfortable. So please uh, be respectful of that. Uh, students and audience members are expected to model our ICC values, integrity, commitment, and compassion throughout the commencement and refrain from disruptive behavior. We want to make this a, a wonderful experience for you. Um, it's, we're hoping for a beautiful night. It's gonna be at Wolfpack Stadium. So let's make sure that it's a wonderful evening for everyone. So I'm gonna go through several protocols, starting with cap and gown. So cap and gown uh, pickup will be on Tuesday, June 2nd from 8.30 to 3.30 p.m., 8.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Uh, you'll pick up your cap, gown, and tassel. When you get them, take them out of their package and hang them up when you get home. This will help get the wrinkles out. You will also pick up stoles. If you um, are eligible to wear a stole, you'll again, take that out of the package and hang them up so you get the wrinkles out before graduation. So what to wear? It's likely to be hot. So wear comfortable clothing underneath your gown. If we should have a rain event and we have to come inside the gym, it will be even warmer. So again, wear comfortable clothing that you can move around easily, um, whether we are outside or inside. Now, being on the field, we have artificial turf. We cannot have students wearing uh, high heeled pointy shoes that can puncture the turf. Also, uh, when you are walking on stage, you'll be going up steps and then also coming down a long ramp. So it's advisable to have footwear that is stable, that is uh, flat to give you a good footing as you walk on the field and walk up on stage and walk down a long ramp. We don't wanna see people falling. We don't wanna make graduation memorable for you for the wrong reason. Uh, also, because the formality of our programming, we don't permit decorating of caps and gowns. So what you are provided is what you are expected to wear um, uh, as our tradition here at Park High School. Name cards, what's a name card? So you, when you arrive to commencement, every student will be issued a card, a little three by five card with your name on it. You are going to hold on to this. And when you are directed to come up to stage to pick up your uh, uh, diploma cover, you will hand this to the speaker. They will read your name from that card. So a couple things with the card. Sometimes people get nervous and they crumple things up. Well, if you crumple it up too hard, it will ruin uh, the, the clarity of the print of your name. And then the speaker will have a hard time reading it. For some of you, the speakers who have reviewed your names will uh, probably have written phonetic spellings um, next to your name. So when they receive your card, they remember how to pronounce your name. So please be advised of that. If you are concerned about your name pronunciation, be sure to see my assistant, Miss Diamond, in the principal's office. Next item, the lineup. What's the lineup? 
So when you report to Wolfpack Stadium on Sunday, June 6th, we want graduates here by 1 p.m. Why an hour early? Because there's going to be a lot of people here, a lot of traffic. You might have to walk a ways away to get to the stadium. So we'd like you to be here, arrive on campus by one o'clock so you can get to inside the stadium. When you enter the stadium, at the ends of the football field, you're going to see black fencing that is used for lacrosse. On that fencing, there will be uh, uh, letters hung uh, for the last names of each kid, A, B, C, D, all the way through Z. Um, a through L will be on the south end of the field and M through Z will be on the north end of the field. If you're directionally confused, A through L will be on the parking lot side of the field, that's the south end, and the M through Z will be on the neighborhood side or the north end. Look for your letter and get to it. We will have teachers here to help line you up in alphabetical order and give you your name card. Uh, let's see, you will, that, that takes care of the line of protocol. It's very simple. Staff will be here. You'll see, the, you'll see the letters. It'll be easy. Then, marching protocol. So really would like to show you this out on, uh, in the Wolfpack Stadium, but it's raining today. So uh, you'll have to visualize this in your head. So after you have lined up and it's time to proceed to your seating, uh, you will be led into onto the field by either Ms. Martineau or Ms. Toll. And uh, uh, Ms. Martineau, Ms. Toll will seat you row by row. So you are gonna follow them in. Uh, each side will walk underneath a balloon arch with uh, flanked by uh, four pillars of balloons with the uh, number 2021. So you will, each side will process under the, the, their respective arches. They'll walk along the white baseline of the football field to and will meet at the 50 yard line. And then they will walk up towards the stage. And then Miss Martineau and Miss Toll will count you out and seat you. And then they will advance a row, count out the next group of people and seat them and move and keep moving forward. So all you need to do is follow the person in front of you and watch for either Ms. Martino or Ms. Toll as you approach them and they will direct you where to go. When you get into your row, everyone remains standing. You will hear the music, Pomp and Circumstance. Uh, the people on stage, including myself, will be standing. The audience will be standing. Everyone will be standing. We will remain standing uh, after the national anthem has been sung. And then once that is completed, I will direct everyone to be seated. So that's the marching protocol. Very simple, just follow the person in front of you and we will get you to your seat. So the next item is when it's time through the ceremony, after we've had our speeches, we've listened to special music, um, it'll come time where we will distribute the diploma covers. We don't put your diplomas in the diploma covers because we don't wanna get them mixed up. So the only thing you're getting on stage during the graduation ceremony is the cover. So you don't need to worry about that. So what will happen is there'll be a time in the ceremony where I will come to the podium and I will invite the name readers to their respective podiums. I will direct the school board members to their positions on stage to be prepared to issue your diploma cover. And then I will direct the first row of seniors to stand. And then Ms. Martineau and uh, Ms. Toll will be at the ends of each rows, directing the next row up to, the, to their side of the stage. So when you look at the stage, there are steps on both sides and a ramp in the middle. Everyone will enter on the steps on the uh, side of, uh, that they're on. They'll uh, walk up the steps. They will hand their uh, name card to the uh, graduation reader. That person will read your name and then you proceed forward to the school board member that will be 10 feet in front of you. They, you will receive your diploma cover you will then walk down the ramp where I will greet you and congratulate you and then you'll return to your seat. While you are waiting in line to walk across stage, there will be a photographer on each side to snap a uh, graduate portrait uh, for you. So just know that you will see a photographer there. They will remind you uh, to, um, uh, to smile and to focus and then they'll take your picture. 
So that's pretty simple. So you just have to follow Ms. Martin or Ms. Toll. They'll get you to the stage, follow the person in front of you. They'll read your name. You'll get your diploma cover. You'll walk down the ramp. You go back to your seat. You've got this. Um, then the cap toss protocol. We, it's important we do this all at once. So after we've finished uh, uh, distributing the diplomas, I will come to the podium and I will make a few remarks to the audience and to the graduates. I will then tell everyone in the audience to get their cameras ready. At that time, seniors, you'll take the tassel off of your cap. I will introduce the school song, Hail to the Wolf Pack. At the conclusion of the song, listen for me to say, graduates, toss those caps. At that moment, you take it off your head and you throw it up all at once. It'll be a beautiful, amazing picture for the audience and for the graduates. And then that will conclude the ceremony. That is graduation. So a couple of other items with this. Before you leave uh, Park High School that night, you will stop in the activity center for just a few minutes to pick up your diploma from your counselor. So counselors will be in the activity center. You'll go in there and you will pick up your diploma and then you can leave. Now, I wanna go back to just cap gown protocol. The other thing that we will, uh, just to advise you on uh, for that evening, every student, I have purchased a a custom Park High School mask for every graduate. With uh, new protocols in place, uh, masking at commencement is optional. So uh, graduates, you are welcome to wear uh, the masks that we uh, are providing you. You will get that the same day you get your cap and gown. If you don't want to wear a mask, you don't have to, but it is there for you if you'd like to. The audience is also uh, welcome to wear a mask, but is not required. Uh, audience is not required to wear a mask either. So. Just want you to be aware of that, that masking is optional at graduation commencement based on the most recent guidelines by the, uh, um, the CDC, the Minnesota Department of Education and the governor. All right, so lastly, what do we do if there's bad weather? So I will be making the call for graduation on, by noon on Saturday, June 5th. We will either be on the field um, or we will be inside. I will, if we have to go inside, I will send out a Blackboard Connect message uh, out to all our families and graduates that it will move inside if it looks like we are going to have stormy weather um, that would prevent us from having commencement outside. If we do, a couple things to be aware of. Families will only have uh, four tickets that they can use. So you are getting two sets of tickets. You're getting the Wolfpack Stadium tickets of six green tickets and Wolfpack Gymnasium tickets, which are four yellow tickets. We will only allow four guests per graduate in the gym. Otherwise, we will not have room. Secondly, we will split commencement into two ceremonies with uh, students A through L at 2 p.m. and students with last names M through Z at 4 p.m. So please be advised of that. We'll make that call on Saturday morning if we need to be inside. I will only make an announcement if we have to be inside. If the weather is fine, then there will be no additional announcements coming forward. So these, this is graduation rehearsal. Uh, I will post everything I went through uh, with you today on this video online in conjunction with this video. And we are only a few days away. Uh, the time is quickly coming, it is ticking down. We have uh, purchased some really nice things to make graduation special. Uh, you will see some uh, new uh, uh, commencement uh, materials on our uh, stage tables. You will see a couple new banners uh, and uh, some balloon arches to make it festive. We are really eager to have it at Wolfpack Stadium. It should be a beautiful evening. So with that, seniors, we will see you on uh, Sunday, June 6th at 2 p.m. Thank you.